Vlogmas time. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little ornaments. Um, and to make one of these ornaments, you need a pre-cross stitched uh, picture. I have chosen a bunch of small gingerbread men from the December issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. But you can use any anyone uh, that you want to. Uh, I've cross stitched it on 14 count Aida uh, with DMC threads and I've chosen to uh, iron on some interfacing on the back side because it makes it sturdier and it doesn't fray as easily. We're going to zigzag the edges but still it's kind of nice when it doesn't fray while you're working. You're also going to need uh, two pieces of felt. It's totally of your choosing but as I have white Aida and I intend to keep the, the edges I chose some white felt. Also you need 20 centimeters of ribbon uh, eight, it's about 8 inches. Uh, any kind of festive ribbon works. Uh, not too wide though because you want to be able to hang it on your tree afterwards. Uh, to start off you have cut the two pieces. The pieces is about a little bit bigger because you are going to have the border around like this. So you want it to be a little bit bigger and you want the room for your stuffing because you're going to need some stuffing too. And what I'm doing is first I I'm going to zigzag the um, gingerbread man onto the first piece of felt just around the corner. I'm using a 1.5 mm 1.5 millimeter um, long and two millimeters wide zigzag. I'm not going to show you how I do it on my sewing machine, but it's quite straightforward. Um, after you zigzag your picture, you would look something like this. So you have the seam on the back side, and you have it zigzag all around. And and now we're going to stuff it and fix the ribbon because now we only have the little line around to stitch and um, that's going to be stitched with a 1.5 millimeter straight stitch seam so what you do is you take your two pieces you put your ribbon, you loop your ribbon, take the ribbon ends and place them on your gingerbread man like that. And you want them to uh, be a little bit inside of your man. And then you and preferable you put the needles in at the top because then you you're not in the way of the seam itself, but still these have to go down a bit into beneath the beneath the zigzag so so it will work that way um, and what you do then is you just go around with your needles to put the fabric together and but you're gonna leave the bottom open because we're gonna stuff it beneath so you have now you have some kind of hole take your stuffing uh, you don't really need that much stuffing because you only want it to be a little bit puffy and not so thick but you can use how much stuffing you want to uh, remember that if you want to use a lot of stuffing you have to have more more edges to your felt because the more you stuff it, uh, the more felt you will need on the back side. So 
we just put our stuffing into here and you will uh, move it around while you sew so you get the stuffing inside of your gingerbread man or not outside of the seam so I'm going to sew it around and then it's actually done after you sewn your straight line around it it will look something like this so you will have to cut around it and you cut about the same amount see uh, as you have gone beside the stitch the zigzag um, I recommend that you sew a double seam on the top uh, I started on this end and then I went around it all and then I ended on that end so I have double stitched for the ribbon so it doesn't fall out and when you cut around it remember you can cut in both fabric at the same time or around but remember to separate the fabric up here so you don't remove the ribbon well now your ornament is ready and you can hang it on your tree I would thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hopefully see you tomorrow bye